don't know if you can hear that. It is fireworks going off. That is because today is Eid. That's after 30 days of fasting called Ramadan. And we're actually here to celebrate Eid in Malaysia. It's just echoing fireworks all over the city. <laughs> Unbelievable. Our local mosque is the Federal Territorial Mosque. It's a 15 minute walk, so we're trying to make it on time. Uh, I believe the prayer is at 8 o'clock. That's usually uh, uh, how we used to pray back home ar around that 8 o'clock time. Over here, it's unknown to us, so we're just trying to, ma we're just trying to make it at 8 o'clock. Seems yeah. like everybody else too is trying to. We're so glad because we're seeing a lot of the locals, um, or maybe people Listen. who work here. They're heading making their way over to the mosque yeah so we don't feel so bad right and we don't feel like we're tardy <laughs> uh, yeah. But yeah so it's, it, uh, it, it feels so nice the, mm -hmm. the fact that everybody's kind of headed in one direction yeah, yeah. <laughs> gathered at the Federal Territory Mosque of Malaysia for Eid prayers. And uh, this is a good way to get a glimpse into how Malaysians celebrate Eid. Yeah, so uh, Eid was actually postponed for one day. Uh, so Ramadan period was 30 days instead of 29. Good to see everybody out here. Uh, Eid marks the end of the Ramadan, which is the holiest month for Muslims. Yeah. Um, so we decided to give you guys a glimpse of what it's like. I've grown up going to Eid prayers. Uh, so it's it's on the So while Wasim is doing the Eid prayer, I thought that I would just walk around the grounds and check it out and see how it is. Um, it's so beautiful because the mosque seems to be. It feels like it's like sitting on a lake, but like this is like a of course like a man-made pool all around and the beautiful mosque right behind us it is so beautiful there's also the rose colored mosque that we want to visit but i think it's like a couple of hours away from where we are right now um but yeah stunning mosque and i see a beautiful bird i must capture it <laughs> I think everyone's super excited after Eid prayers. You can see all the hawking going on. It's almost, it reminds me of when people get married and then you just, you know, as soon as you get married and you go off in your car, that's what's happening. All the honking. Wow. It's a happy day. So I saw Wasim going, trying to go into the mosque, but it was so packed that everyone kind of gathered at the very front 
uh, area, the door, you know, when you kind of walk in. So he had to actually pray <laughs> uh, on the floor of the mosque without um, our like uh, carpet that we have for prayer. But yeah, so he did that. Actually, he's been doing that for a few years at our local mosque back home. Whenever he had the chance to go from when he was working, he used to just uh, get there just in time to pray. And he usually uh, prayed right outside or he actually has prayed also on gravel. So poor guy, yeah, he had to do that today. I'm so proud of him. But yeah, after he comes out, we're gonna give you, I think, a quick tour. This is a beautiful mosque, and it is only like 10 minutes away from where we're living in uh, Montiera. So, yeah. So that concludes the heat tour. We got so packed that we ended up praying outside. It feels really nice to have made the eat prayer and the fact that uh, we traveled so far and then we're able to make it as compared to back home so many times we've missed it um, and only because uh, of our jobs that you know there's there's not that culture in the US where Islamic uh, holidays are uh, recognized I, I remember one year I used to work graveyard I had just gotten up just in time but by the time I passed by the mosque, uh, everybody was leaving. So it was kind of like a sad feeling, uh, the fact you, you could not make it. Uh, and that I was not able to take vacation around that time because I was a new hire. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing that uh, the fact that we could not do it back home, but we actually were able to do it while on the road. Yeah, we got a chance yeah. to do it here. And yeah. myself as well, like I didn't take any holidays off in the last 15 years that I was working. Wow. So. Um, sometimes I would be able to make uh, eat at my grandmother's house, but that was often after 9 p.m. Uh, yeah. uh, when I would leave work. But uh, it's just a nice feeling to have a special day just for Eid yeah. and just have it for yourself and your friends and family. Uh, and kind of not worry about having to go to work. But yeah. that's one of the reasons why we quit our jobs and we're just loving our life now. We are able to do what we want to do when we want to do it so yeah. this is just the beginning and i'm and i'm so glad it's yeah. like this yeah scenic view in front of us at the mosque eid mubarak everyone yeah <laughs> Salamat Hari Raya. Uh, happy eid al fitr because as the as the malaysians say so Happy day! <laughs> now we gotta go find some food or sweets to eat. <laughs> I know. Yeah. We like we. Yeah. The mosque is cleared out. I'm sure everyone has their you know open house. Everyone's going to their friends and family's yeah. homes and stuff. Everyone's celebrating with sweets and delicious food. But we are still sitting here, <laughs> just kind of taking in the views because this it's, is one of the most beautiful mosques we've seen. Yeah. Right? Uh, it's enormous, uh, first of all. We went to Sheikh Zayed Mosque. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's stunning. Yeah, yeah. To live 10 minutes walk away from this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a, a, apparently it's a popular one as well. Yeah. And we're just able to walk 10 minutes and make it here and take in the beautiful yeah. views. It's got the water surroundings. It yeah. looks so nice with some lily pads. It's like a man-made uh, pool. Or yeah. it's like a pool, yeah. yeah. We have fish in the pool. And turtles. And turtles, yeah. That's yeah, so cute. Yeah, and then uh, just the two towers of the mosque. It's so, it's so tall, I don't know, I would say eight <laughs> stories, ten stories maybe. Maybe. Yeah, and I love the mosaic yeah. like on the part. What, the, the dome. The dome. Yeah. On the domes, it's so pretty. Yeah. Like, there's a couple of different designs. Mm -hmm. Very nice. And, it, uh, it's kind of reminiscent. I thought like sometimes when, when I look up at it, I'm like, are we in Turkey? Yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah. you know, it just kind of felt yeah. like that.
<laughs> we were walking around, uh, just taking in the scenic views from the top of the mosque. What we realized is actually we see the three most iconic buildings of Malaysia. Merdeka 118, the KL Tower, actually to the left of it, is the Petronas. So the trio of buildings right next to stacked to each other. How amazing is that? You can get like three, three big attractions <laughs> right from here. All from here, yeah. yeah. This year's Eid in Malaysia is kind of special uh, because they actually got a uh, four-day weekend. Eid fell on a Saturday this year because of the inability to sight the new moon. So how it works is uh, Eid is based on the sighting of a crescent moon, a new moon. Uh, so they were not able to sight it on a Thursday. So Friday was an extra day of uh, fasting and then Saturday became the Eid. And then a lot of people like to go out to, uh, to families and friends out of town. So the city might not be that busy. A lot of shops are closed. So we were not sure as to where to go today. <laughs> yeah, uh, especially yeah. because we currently don't have a SIM card. Yeah. And uh, we also don't want to get lost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Try to find some food. Yeah. Yeah. Food would be nice. And a cold water. <laughs> and anything about uh, rain here? It does not just rain. Oh, it pours. It pours with thunder and lightning. Yes, like the three... It, it's, it's always got to... The trio. Come together. The killer trio. Thunder, lightning, and heavy rain. Heavy rain. You know, I thought this was yeah. like Southeast Asia. I remember when we came the yeah. first day. Uh, I was like, oh yeah, what a nice, refreshing welcome. It's just like Southeast Asia. It'll like let up in 20 minutes. In 20 minutes, and light rain, light showers. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was so wrong. Malaysian yeah. showers are like... It pours. Down. When it rains, it yeah, pours, yeah. Thick. But that, that's the thing, it keeps the city green uh, and the roads clean. Just yeah. your, your green and clean. Green and clean, yeah. <laughs> And, and the air fresh too, so you don't have all the uh, particulates uh, left in the air, it just all washes away, uh, which is really nice. I feel like it's a really green city, really fresh. Yeah. Getting in the fresh air right now. I just nice, love cool seeing the, as far as it being green, I love seeing like, like almost like jungle all around and skyscrapers kind of shooting out of the out jungle. Out of jungle, yeah. Yeah, it's just like yeah. so avatar like. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> so we're sitting down, just taking it in. And we got little kids running around. <laughs> they are the cutest. And it's so nice the way they all match. Yeah, yeah the, the mom and dad, all the kids, the boys, the girls. It's so cute. Like the color scheme is like one. Like if one person, the parents are wearing green, like the kids are going to all wear green or blue or pinks nice and yellows. Pinks and purple. Yeah. yeah really nice. So cute. Yeah. Super adorable.